Welcome back everybody. In today's video we'll be taking a look at Riot Girl Radio, a frauditor who realized that frauditing isn't just a game and sometimes you can get arrested. But it looks like she wasn't cut out for this and she is crying her eyes out because she got arrested. It really looks pathetic and that's why she deleted the live stream. But don't worry, we have the footage and we're all here for a good laugh. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. That way you never miss another video. We are 35,000 strong and growing every single day. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. I just got arrested. And it was harder than I thought. Like. I'm having a hard time with it because Okai okay, went into Allentown um, Courthouse and I have it on video. I'll show it tonight. Um, they arrested me because I went in to the courthouse and um, I was filming, of course, and I got to I got to security. And they said, you can't film in here. And um, I said, no, I can. That's not true. It's a, it's a constitutionally protected activity. It's First Amendment right, blah, blah, blah. And um, the police officer, a female, which they're the worst, um, came up to me and said, turn off your camera right now. You got to stop filming. Turn it off. And I said, um, I was like, to show me the law, right? Show me the law or statute or whatever. Um, and she said, okay. Well, she goes and gets three more police officers and comes back and tells me to turn my phone off, that they're going to, I have to delete my footage and they arrested me. So, I'm sorry, I'm so upset, I just, now it's pretty obvious why she deleted this live stream. It makes her look really bad. Clearly she's not cut out for this. She was having fun when she's getting her way. But frauditing is committing crimes and eventually you will get busted. Even if you get away with it for 100 videos, 200 videos, eventually you will find the cop that will arrest you and then you'll have a court date, you'll have to hire a lawyer. Well, actually most of these people qualify for public defenders because they're unemployed. But you know what I mean, it's going to be a hassle and she's about to find that out the hard way. I've been arrested in like 20 years. I didn't do anything wrong and I didn't break the law. So like, <laughs> like, yeah, I know it's coming, but like having your freedom taken away like that by a man who puts the cuffs on way too freaking hard and then they violated my fourth amendment right they took my purse they took everything out of it they took my phones they said i had to delete everything it was horrible it was man i didn't do anything wrong um thank god i didn't resist because <laughs> when i first decided to do this I kept thinking I'm one of those people that I'm going to get arrested and I'm going to end up in jail because I'm going to resist and I'm not going to be able to do it, but I didn't resist, so there's that. But um, why did they think they can do that? So, all right, they wouldn't, so the chick says, the police officer, a female, sorry, a female officer, came to me, told me to stop filming, and I said, please show me the law or statute, whatever, because it's not on the front door, it's nowhere, that says I can't film. But she goes and she says she'll bring it back, right? She brings back two more officers, and then three more come over, and they surround me, and um, they said, turn off your camera now. Um, I've told you three times to turn off your camera. And I'm like, bitch, I've asked you three times for the law. You said that you would go get it and bring it back for me so I could read it. And then 
Now, why are these frauditors under the impression that the officers have to show them the law they're arresting her for? It's like if they bust, you know, a bank robber or something, and then the bank robber says, well, hold on, before you put on these handcuffs, tell me and show me what law I have broken. They don't have time to play games with you. You're going to get arrested and you'll have to talk about that with the judge. That's how it works. You fight your case in the court system, not in front of officers. Either challenge it or whatever. I just did the Doylestown Courthouse and you know what they tried to do? When I was at Doylestown Courthouse, they did the same thing. They showed me an administrative order. That's what they arrested me over a judge's administrative order. And while I'm sitting in that cell, they get two detectives to come and talk to me. He came in, he told me that the judge's administrative order is the law, that um, I can't film because I might possibly get jury members walking into the jury room. Like he showed me the papers and I'll show you guys that, um, it's an administrative order about not filming in the courtroom, not the courthouse. And then he told me that I should ask permission when I come in. Come in, don't be filming, ask security for permission, and then you know whether or not you can film. And now it's on. And I told you, tomorrow's audits will be brutal, so. So now it's on apparently. So she didn't learn her lesson quite obviously. She's getting more radicalized. She thinks she was wronged, but actually what happened is she fell through the trap of misinformation on YouTube. She watches these other frauditors. She thinks she can get away with it. And then she gets herself arrested. It looks like the cycle will continue and she will get criminalized even more and accumulate more cases. And of course, we'll be laughing every step of the way. Thank you for tuning in. I will watch all your comments before I delete my live. I always delete my lives because I feel stupid. But yes, I'm suing Allentown for my illegal arrest. I wanted to say that to make sure he heard. Because that's what's happening. I'm suing Allentown Courthouse for illegally arresting me. I'm out. I'm going to DMV next. I just had my first arrest and it sucked and I cried like a little bitch, but um, that's that. I'm learning as I go and everything that happens, happens for a reason and it teaches me something. So that's what I'm doing. I agree with that. Everything does happen for a reason and the world is trying to teach you something. But unfortunately, you didn't put on your listening ears and you're not accepting the message. So the cycle will continue and that's fine. Anyways, let's watch this short clip of fake Mike, a real whisk, absolutely losing his mind talking about couch surfing as he probably took too much of that pixie dust. Check it out. Me, 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 me. What is going on folks Will Turbid here? AKA L. Ron Hubbard, the only one in true reincarnation and only soul, rightful heir to all of his worldly, earthly, material possessions, especially all of his whips and mansions. Fake Mike! Mmm, haven't got a slap off in a while. Yikes. Pause. Real news. What's up, guys? Take the show on the Rizzo, the Road. Guys, I want to tell you about a couple things. First of all, look into the law of attraction, the secret. Need you guys to do that. I also want you guys to uh, do a couple other things for me too. Holy smokes, it's bright. Let me get in the shade here. Oh, that's what I was going to say. If you guys want some of this merch, snapbacks, whatever, you guys can get some for a donation. Just email me, fakemikerealnews at gmail.com. Instagram, fakemikerealnews. Send me a message. 
<clears throat> give me a follow. But yeah, we're gonna have to have meetups. Sorry for the scatterbrained uh, train of thought right now. So he's apologizing that his brain is scattered and that he's not making any sense. I'm sure that your subscribers are used to it, Wisp Boy. No one has ever accused you of being coherent. It's just how I am. That's why other people need to get involved. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we need to do that, but we also need to be careful about who's, who's there. And we need to be diligent because the FBI, they're the best. And they would never, ever think of infiltrating movements. They're good. They're two good guys for that. <clears throat> and I respect them and I love the FBI. Hey, FBI. Are you ready? So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, we really need to get out into the streets. And what do we stand here for on this channel? It's the first time you're ever checking this out. Hopefully because somebody shared this video. Here at Fake Mike Real News, we are a collective. We are not held together in any ways besides our... Uh, besides this, which is we are trying to create a more altruistic world through nonviolence and the Socratic method. That's what we're doing here. And so sharing the videos is the best way to get new friends. The more new friends we got, the more like-minded people there are, the easier it is for us to have our mansion party at my house, L. Ron Hubbard's crib, with vegan tacos, right? So it's gonna be boss, it's gonna be Liddy, but I, I need y'all help. And I wanna say thank you to everybody out there. Big shout outs to Yeah Right, The Matrix, man the god the og this guy is definitely spiraling into madness as we speak i mean first he's saying that the fbi might infiltrate his group do you really think the fbi has time to play games with fake mike real whisk hell no and then he's talking about doing organizations and meetups but then he's talking about having a party at his crib everybody can see that this guy is a complete joke He's not serious about anything besides probably getting some merch sales. Uh, just the man. Everyone go check out. Go to YouTube. Open up another tab right now. YouTube. Search Yeah Right The Matrix. Hit filters. And then go to uh, channel. And then subscribe to everyone. Because it's whack-a-mole, if you know what I'm saying. Subscribe to everyone. Hit the bell. Like I said, hit the bell. Hit the bell. And support the people. Because right now, everything is becoming so corporatized. So corporate, it's like Vince McMahon and the Mean Street Posse are about to walk out. You know what I'm saying? You guys get what I'm saying by that? Everything's getting corporate on the interwebs. And in order to have, you know, you guys may hate me, you may like me, whatever. It doesn't, it's not about me. It's about all of us. If I can't have a voice on the internet, you can't have a voice on the internet. And it's only these pre-approved corporations... That's not a good thing. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not against business at all. I'm, I'm a free market dude. I love, the, I love me some free market, right? I hate me some tyranny, love me some free market. However, all right, I think we're going to wrap it up. Towards the end, he was starting to make a little bit more sense, but still not enough to form a coherent sentence. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. If you enjoy this video, I'm sure you will also enjoy my other channel, Josh Prime. On that channel, I cover drunk drivers, idiots, Karens, all sorts of criminals. So I'll see you there. The link is in the description. I live here.